Okay, I think we'll all agree that when we think of arts and crafts, we think of it more as a kitty thing. I mean, when was the last time you actually sat down, painted, and did something really creative? It's probably been close to a decade since the last time I actually got crafty. How about you, Jackie? Yeah, I don't even know, but I'm excited to get messy. Well, today in this segment of Metromix Takes On, that is all going to change because we are at the Kiln and Cork. Ladies, I hope you are feeling inspired. At this Paint Your Own Pottery Studio, there is no age limit on having fun. That's the kiln part. You come in, pick your own piece of unfinished pottery, choose your colors, take a seat and get busy, letting your imagination do the rest. If you think that's not enough, ask a pro. I was finger painting when I was five years old, and this seems simple enough, like you just come in, you know, pick up a brush, pick your colors, and you're good to go, but is a little bit more involved than that? I mean, because some of the stuff we've seen around here is beautiful. I mean, it honestly just depends on what kind of skill level you have, what you want to do. A lot of this stuff really isn't that difficult, even when you paint something, if you're not that great, after it's fired, it still comes out shiny, and the colors blend really well, so it ends up looking really nice. Now I believe you, but I'm one of those people whose skill level isn't that great, so what's the return policy here? Can you actually, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I mean, what happens if you don't like what you make? Um, if you don't like what you make, I mean, a lot of people come in and they paint it, and they hate it, and they're like, oh, this is horrible, like, I don't want to look at this anymore, just take it, just take it. And I don't know if that's why some people just never pick up their pieces, if they're just too scared, but when people come back to pick them up, they actually turn out really good, and they're like, oh, wow, I'm actually not as bad as I thought I was. Okay, what did you guys decide to make? I'm making a candle holder for my first anniversary with my boyfriend. Very romantic. What about you, Jackie? I am making a dog treat holder because my treats are all over my house. And I am making a bowl for my cats because I have three dogs and they deserve a little bit of special treatment. Now this is great and a lot of fun, but what's one thing that would make this a whole lot better? Booze. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. That's the cork part of Kilman Cork. You need to be at least 21 to enjoy the most unique feature that makes this a place for grown-ups. The premier wine cafe, offering an exclusive list of fine wines that will please everyone from the newbie wine enthusiast to the connoisseur to people like us. Wine's not your thing? There's also a selection of microbrews and order whatever you please from some nearby Hyde Park joints. The mastermind behind this too awesome concept, Trista. Okay, let's play a little word association. Okay, when I say the word art, what do you think of? Wine. When I say the word wine, what do you think? Art. <laughs> now, <laughs> all kidding aside, was that basically the idea behind this whole kind of wine bar and pottery paint painting concept? Yes. It's, you know, the only place where you can get together friends, family, and have wine, food, and art, pottery. You're here in Hyde Park, definitely kind of party central, but this is a little bit more laid back and relaxed. How do you compete? What's your edge here? It's This is where you can connect. You can come back to you. You can sit with your friends and actually have a conversation. You can say, oh my gosh, this is my week, and you can take that time to yourself, focus, and just paint. After you finish painting your masterpieces, that's just the first part. Next, they're placed in the kiln. Fast forward a few days, you get to come back, and fresh from the oven, your completed work of art is handed over and packed for travel. Okay, ladies, how much do you love your pieces now that they're actually finished? Uh, I'm really happy with mine. It looks totally different than when we dropped it off, but it looks good. What about you, Jackie? I loved it, and the store loved it too. Of course, they wanted to keep it, but I told them no. My kids would be very mad if they didn't get their food bowl. But you know what the best part about coming back to the Kilman Cork is? Getting a chance to sit at the bar again. So until the next Metromix Takes On segment, ladies, pass me a menu.